This week, we're going to dive into donors and patrons. I'm John Paul Fishbach, the CEO and Chief Alchemist here at the Auspicious Arts Incubator with this hot tip. I think the situation for most artists starts out something like this. I'm a worthy artist. I make great art. Well, how do I find a donor or a patron or a benefactor? Well, there's a hierarchy of giving. Typically, a benefactor gives you more than just money. A patron is ongoing support. And a donor is perhaps just a single gift or single money. And you find them in your immediate circle of friends and family. And you build it over time. Now, the skill of approaching these people is definitely something to learn for every artist. And the key is standing in their shoes and figuring out their motivation for giving. What is it? So that you and your art are a match right from the start. So there are four things that motivate donors. Number one, philanthropy. That's just the desire to make a difference or a change in the world for the better, right? Number two is affinity. Donors with strong personal connection to the cause or to you. Number three, mutual benefit. Now that's more transactional because there's a benefit that they give in exchange for what they give you. And number four is social. And that's a motivation to be part of a group or to build influence on the part of the donor. So it's pretty straightforward. Now there are seven steps and that's way too much for a Hot Tip Tuesday, but they are identify, research, plan, cultivate, ask, close, thank, and steward. Okay. Now the biggest failing is, doing, is due to a lack of planning, absolutely. And then being clumsy at the cultivation and the ask. So let's talk about cultivation of a donor and the ask. Cultivation, typically 6 to 18 months to build a relationship with a donor. Your job? Help them build enthusiasm for you and your work. And be clear about why their financial support will have the biggest impact for you and your art. Okay? Now let's look at the ask. There are four keys. At the right level, for the right area of your work, at the right time, and by the right person. So, in the arts, who does the ask is critical. People give to people. It doesn't have to be you doing the asking, but whoever it is, they have to have three things. I'm going through a lot of numbers here. Number one, personal commitment. What have they or what have you invested? Number two, rapport. Are you or are they known and respected by the prospect? Passion is number three. The person asking can describe why they are so committed to the goal. Okay, and please don't take the money and run. If you manage to secure a donation, that donor can become a patron and a benefactor. It's up to you to share the emotion for your art and your growth, your success, and then stay aligned with their motivation for giving. Okay, that was really fast, but that's kind of the nuts and bolts of donors and patrons. Was that hot tip useful? Well, be sure and subscribe to the next one and tell a fellow artist about us. Look, if you want real practical advice and support to thrive as an artist, check us out at www.auspiciousartsincubator.org.